Charles Schwab Corporation is in talks to buy TD Ameritrade. A deal could be announced as early as today. In fact, I expect a deal to be announced later this morning. Uh, we also are hearing that Schwab CEO Walt Bettinger is going to be running that new combined company. Probably not a surprise because the CEO of uh, TD Ameritrade, Tim Hockey, had uh, we learned earlier this year back in July that he would be leaving the company. So that's what we know at this point. TD Ameritrade shares up by about 25 percent. Charles Schwab shares up by 13 and a half percent. Joining us right now to talk about all of this is Devin Ryan. He's financials analyst at JMP Securities. And Devin, what do you think the matchup of these two companies? Well, first off, I would say never a dull moment here. We had the, the obviously the big commission cut, and I think that's partially what's driving this. So if you're Schwab and you know the commissions are going to zero, you don't want to make a move here and pay for those revenues uh, when um, you know they're still in the model. Now that we're at zero, they've come out of Meritrade's model, they've come out of Schwab's model, and I think there's going to be a lot of synergies here. So consolidation in the space makes sense. On the retail side, and something that people probably aren't talking about yet is on the RIA custodial side, you have Schwab's the number one custodian. They have over 25% market share, and Ameritrade's the number three custodian. Hmm. And so you put them two together, and you have over a third of the market on the RIA side. So they're going to be able to do a lot for the RIA clients. And I also think with the synergies created, you know, the industry has to watch out what's coming next on pricing. Is Schwab going to take some of the synergies here and spend it on new pricing cuts? Uh, oh, that's interesting, too. The idea yeah. of more pressure coming to others. Uh, Schwab shares up by more than 14 percent on this. Uh, yeah. It tells you that uh, their shareholders like this news, too. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we're going to have to, the devil's going to be in the details of, of all the terms and, and exactly what's you know, in the deal here. But I think at, at, a, at a high high level here, consolidation does make sense. There's a lot of expense savings in deals. Uh, Ameritrade has a great platform, so you're probably not going to cut too much of their platform, but there's still going to be opportunities on marketing and probably you know, on, on employee headcount as well. Um, but, but there's going to be a lot of revenue synergies here as well. So Schwab's got a great advice business. Ameritrade has the leading active trader platform on the options side. So you combine kind of two really powerful brands, two pl powerful platforms, a lot for consumers. And then on the other side, as we talked about on the RIA right. business, they're going to be leading. What's a platform. fair price for this? Uh, yeah, you know, we, we, don't, we, don't, we yeah. don't know really where this is going to land <clears throat> at the moment. Right now, TD Ameritrade's trading as if it's a 25% premium. Right. Would you be happy? For, put, yep. put aside, would you be happy for TD Ameritrade shareholder? Yes, you'd say, okay, I get 20. But think about where the stock was just a year ago. Yep. And if you're Charles Schwab, you're saying, how much can I really afford to do this? Yeah, so I think when we get the details of the deal, right. there's going to be a lot of stock in the consideration, I would guess. So uh, it's a question of the initial premium, uh, but then you're going to own Schwab stock right after the deal's announced if it does get announced. And so if it's a good deal for Schwab, then you're kind of getting paid two times. So that has to be considered here. I think is if you're an owner of Ameritrade today, you know, what are you getting? And, and if you want to own Schwab for the long term, then maybe you don't want to be overly greedy on kind of the first day. E-Trade shares right now down by 5.4%. We've watched that continue to drop further uh, throughout the course of the morning as the story's gotten out there. Um, what, what does this mean? We had somebody else tell us that this is because TD Ameritrade or Charles Schwab <clears throat> would have seen, been seen as somebody who would buy that company. Eventually. Yeah, absolutely. So I think there was a little bit of, of probably premium in E-Trade on the potential consolidation. Uh, that's where, you know, it's, it's never a dull moment here where everyone's been focused on E-Trade as the uh, potential uh, you know, M&A target. And here Ameritrade sounds like um, is more likely. And so I think there's probably a little bit of that coming out. And then I think, as I mentioned, you know, competitively, what happens here? You know, what happens on pricing? Um, what is the next right. step here for Schwab and Ameritrade together if this combination happens? So I think that's also a factor. On the other side, there's always going to be some breakage. You know, there's going right. to be a little bit of client, you know, up for grab. And so we'll see um, you know, what happens there. So there might be a little bit of opportunity, but I think um, you know, if this deal if, happens, there's going to be a lot of If Macon Del Rahim who does often watch the show, is watching right now from the Justice Department and thinking about what this transaction means for the industry. Yeah. How many players are there really? Meaning, how do you truly define this arena? Well, I, you know, as I mentioned, you kind of look at the market shares of the different uh, businesses. I think Schwab overall has 8% market share of overall assets is the way they kind of define it's it. It's fundamentally so, fragmented. So it's fundamentally fragmented, but you have uh, certain parts of the industry that are consolidated. So on the RAA custodial side, you have Schwab with over a quarter of the market share. Uh, but beyond that, beyond the top four players, Schwab, Fidelity, Ameritrade, and Pershing, it's incredibly fragmented. And then on the retail side, you have Fidelity, you have Schwab, you have Ameritrade, E-Trade, um, and there's some others, but it gets pretty 
pretty fragmented from there as well. So there's still, I think, opportunities. The key thing is, what does the consumer get out of this? And I think that ultimately, the consumer's been treated very well with lower commission pricing. They're getting paid more um, on a lot of different parts of the platform. Uh, the RAAs are getting a lot of service and platform for the price they're paying, which is virtually nothing. Um, so I think we'll continue to evolve in that direction. So consolidation thus far has been good, and I think that uh, that will probably continue to be the case here.